got him. Come on. There we go. All right, this fish locked in at 455, 482, 482, 487. Day one of the 2020 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake produced a lot of quality fish. The leader sits at just under the five pound mark. And on this final day of competition, anglers will be looking to eclipse that number to claim the title. Begging. Oh. 549, new leader of the entire tournament. How about a 553? 553, yes sir. Armed with only Berkeley baits, hundreds of the nation's top collegiate anglers are dueling it out on Kentucky Lake for tens of thousands of dollars in prizes and contingencies, as well as valuable points towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, who will rise to the challenge and win the first event of the new season out on the Bass Pro Shop's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series? Find out next. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Suey! New big bass of the tournament. There's your chance, he's right there, folks. So we're going to be throwing Berkeley Jaywalkers, Berkeley Cane Walkers, and uh, Drift Walker. I got a lot of power baits tied on, uh, the 10-inch Blue Flakes, one of my go-to baits, so I'll have that on the deck for sure. Welcome in to Day 2 coverage of the 2020 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. During competition today, anglers are permitted to use only Berkeley products. On day one, many competitors reported catching a lot of their big fish on Berkeley baits already, so expect even more great fish catching action here on day two. I'm going to be throwing a football jig with a chigger crawl on it. I know a couple of the other guys are throwing dredgers and power swimmers and stuff like that. So we're just going to rotate through those baits all day in our areas and see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to be throwing some spinner baits up around um, some shallow brush piles uh, with some Berkeley trailers on them. And then we're going uh, to run out and fish some drops with some brush piles, probably with a big jig and some Berkeley trailers on them and big old power bait worm and stuff like that. We'll have more information on Berkeley baits and products for you later in the show. But here's a quick look at today's weigh-in format. There will be a total of three sessions, with the first one closing at 9.30 a.m. and the final session ending at 1.30 p.m. Each of the two first sessions will pay out the top 10, and the final session of the day will award 20 prizes. We begin our on-the-water coverage with Hunter Fillmore from Bethel University. He holds the overall lead at the moment with 4.87 pounds. Starting back here where we caught that big one out yesterday. Uh, this main lake brush pile, it's just got a bunch of shad pushed up on it. And yesterday they were schooling on the shad and stuff, kind of busting them. Had one come up and slap at it, but he didn't need it. Right back there on the very back right corner, back behind that green bush, and uh, he ate my spinner bait, and uh, he rolled on it, and I got a couple cranks in, and he jumped about, jumped up out of the water, and uh, he landed in this bushy part of this tree right here, and he got hung up in it, and we were on out here with good ways, <laughs> so we had to, uh, we had to run in here real quick. And, Trent grabbed him with the net before he could jump off. He was stuck in that tree for probably 30 seconds before he got to him. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're starting on the corner of uh, the Paris Bridge. And we've had a couple of fish yesterday morning that were biting pretty early on an A rig. So they're both throwing an A rig right now. And I'm in the back right now following them up with a shaky head just to see if I can pick off a couple singles off the bridge here. So I'm throwing a seven inch hit worm on a 316 sound shaky head. Got him. It's begging. Oh. You hit him, dude, and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Check that out. Old Berkeley Power swimming down the hatch. Not a big one, but she might 
to my place in the top in the first session. Coming up after the break, we go back to Paris Landing State Park and Marina for day two session one weigh-in presented by Abu Garcia. What'll be the winning weight for the first session of the day? Find out next. The great beyond, the great below, the mystery of the unseen and the unknown. With a rod and a reel, and the spirit of adventure that hangs in the salty air. To find and to fight. It's with that spirit that we design our product at Worldwide Sportsman. It's up to you to put it to the test. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. with the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Stetson Blaylock! Tom Orton! Hank Terry, let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. I just feel like, you know, like he said yesterday, the wind, you know, I feel like that was a big factor in what was going on yesterday. The wind was pushing the shad up on the brush, and, if, and the fish was just sitting in it, and today we don't really have that much wind, so I feel like, you know, the fish could be scattered more because there's not a lot of bait around. But we're just gonna have to run, hit a lot of new spots today, and, Something out. We figured we could get a couple quick morning bites uh, when we first got here, especially on that A rig. But uh, it's just weeding through those those little ones to find a real big one. And we know they're around. I mean, there's plenty of bait here. It's a big transition zone for a lot of these fish. I mean, it's a pinch point, it's a bridge. There's always fish coming and going. So our our plan is just to try to stick it out and weed through the little ones and just see if we can run across a big one because, I mean, it's Kentucky Lake. They live here. So we're sitting here at the bridge. I'm just fishing a Berkeley flatworm on these bridge pilings. Right at the Paris Bridge, there's some brush piles down in these pilings. Throwing the flatworm in there, hopefully it can pluck a few out. Griffin just f checked the fish I caught earlier, and we believe it probably only goes a pound, uh, like one seven. So we're, we're right close to the ramp, so we, can, we only have like a two minute run in to weigh, weigh the fish, but we're gonna hold off for a little bit just because we want to try to get a bigger one. We don't want to waste too much time going to check the fish in. But if we don't see too many boats head in right now, we'll go run that fish in right at the end of the first session, hopefully sneak a spot in there. Three minutes, anglers, if you're at the dock, three minutes before this session will close. Right now in 10th place, you need a 283 to get into money. Looks like this one will do it. All right, Matthew Cummins coming up here next to weigh in from Bethel. He's got a, well, we're looking for a five pounder and that's almost a 478. Way to go, 478. Let's get that one back in the water. And I believe this will take over first place. Let me look, that took over first place. This session is sponsored by Abu Garcia. If you win this, you're gonna win a $300 Bass Pro gift card, Abu Garcia Vertos Reel, and an Abu Garcia Revo S, good or bad? Well, I reckon that's all right. And at the close of day two, session one presented by Abu Garcia, Matthew Cummings from 10th ranked Bethel University sits atop the standings for the opening period of the day. Through this point in the competition, Bethel University anglers have weighed in the three biggest fish of the tournament. I think I'm gonna go with the green pumpkin chigger craw, Berkeley chigger craw as a trailer. Today is kind of a special day, day two. 
Uh, it's all about Berkeley baits today. All the anglers have to use Berkeley product while they're fishing. Every fish that comes in will be caught on a Berkeley product of some type. During day two of tournament competition, anglers are allowed to use only Berkeley products. This includes hard baits, topwaters, soft plastics, as well as trailers used on the back of spinner baits, jigs, and chatter baits. All right, so day two here, we have to, at the bash, we have to use Berkeley baits. So I'm just rigging my A rig here with uh, Berkeley power swimmers here. Uh, yesterday, we were catching them on an A rig off this uh, Paris bridge here. So I've already caught two, and they've been munching the power swimmers today. So I'm going to rig this one, hit it up with a little chartreuse die in the middle so they'll have one to target, and hopefully, hopefully we get a big one on it. First down spinner bait, a little Berkeley. I got the chigger crawlers cut it in half, the chigger crawling back of it. I'm going to. That's what I'm throwing right there. Just a little chigger bug on the back of it. Makes that little tail flap. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm throwing a, a Berkeley Power Worm. That's one of my favorite things to throw, but usually on a four inch. Today I'm throwing a 10 inch because I'm trying to get a big bait. And I'm also throwing it on a Revo Rocket. These are one of the best reels I've ever used in my life. Real smooth. Reel's about 42, 41 inches of line and one, one crank. So that's real good to get your fish in quick. Just an overall great reel. Leading up to the event, Berkeley provided the full field of anglers with a variety of baits and soft plastics to use out on Kentucky Lake this weekend. Those baits included the likes of the Berkeley Chapo, Power Swimmer, Hitworm, and Buzzin' Speed Toad. Each of these products are baits that will produce on the Tennessee River during the fall, and anglers are finding a great deal of success. A 304, 304. Today, that fish came on a shaky head with the Berkeley Power Worm. So we started off this morning, uh, we ran out right away and started throwing top waters. Uh, we caught quite a few fish right away this morning on a, uh, a little pea gravel bank. And um, just catching them on top, Berkeley Chapos, Berkeley uh, Cane Walkers, uh, Jay Walkers, just uh, anything that was really a, resembled some sort of shad uh, top water style bait. And uh, we weighed in two fish in session one. Uh, one of them went 211, the other one was just over three pounds. And um, right now we're just kind of searching for one big bite now. Last year, the winning fish of this event was caught on the final day using a Berkeley Power Swimmer. Can history repeat itself? And someone managed to run into the winning fish today using a Berkeley bait? Stay tuned to find out. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories. Fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat U.S. 
We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Gemini Jerseys, the leader in custom fishing apparel. And by Hydrowave, ignite a feeding frenzy. All right, Evan Hill coming up next from the University of Tennessee. First fish of this session, ready to weigh in. This session is gonna be presented by Berkeley. And it's gonna be a good fish at 407. 407, tell me about it. Uh, well, we fished the Chapo religiously yesterday and didn't have much luck and figured why not try again. So uh, found a good bank and hit it on the first cast. First cast yes, of the morning. Not the first cast of the morning. This first bait, okay, of that bait. Spot, yeah. So you're gonna go back out and wire that bait out today. Yes, sir. Evan Hill from the University of Tennessee was the first angler to weigh in for session two presented by Berkeley. And he manages to hold on to that lead the entire session and claim top honors in the 11.30 a.m. period. Evan earns a $500 Bass Pro Shops gift card and an Abu Garcia Revo Ike low profile reel for that session victory. You know, Kentucky Lake is a good place to come to no matter what kind of fishing the anglers like. They can spread out north to south, east to west. They never are in a group fishing together like it is on some lakes you go to. They can fish shallow, they can fish current, deep water. It, whatever an angler likes is here on Kentucky Lake. So it really is good for every fisherman that likes to come here. They can fish their style. We uh, are very fortunate to have everything from um, from co co competition fishing uh, to water sports and recreation and boating and anything you can imagine, we're doing it right here on Kentucky Lake. Getting out in the outdoors and, and throwing, a, throwing a line in the water is pretty special. And so uh, we capitalize on that and again, the national exposure that, that brings people here, not only for the tournaments, but they come back. They, they like to pre-fish, like to bring their family. And so we see them all throughout the year. We've been here for years coming back to Paris, Tennessee here at Henry County. Uh, they kick in every year, it's something special. Yesterday, Henry County shows up with a whole mini bus full of product, food for the kids, hand them out all their, pro their lunch, get to go home, eat. Uh, they just take care of us great here at Henry County. Back out on the water, the competition is starting to heat up as we enter the final session presented by Bass Pro Shops. Griffin Fernandez from 7th ranked Adrian College just landed this quality keeper. Yeah, I mean it's it's a big one. I haven't caught one this big out of here in a minute. So, pretty pumped about it and I know it's been tough and the fact that fish is over five has got me pretty excited but I mean we'll see. After a brief discussion with his teammates in the boat, Griffin made the decision to go on back to Paris Landing State Park and Marina, weigh in this fish, and get it back out to Kentucky Lake safe and healthy in a timely fashion. They're banking on it being over five, and I think they're gonna be pretty close. All right, let's weigh it and get some water on it, then Griffin, I wanna talk to you. It needs to be over five to take over the lead for the whole entire event. Let's see what we got. 549, new leader of the entire tournament. All right, take it around there and put some water on it. Now, you're not going back out fishing. No, sir. So you you got plenty of time to talk to us. Yep. We've got hamburgers coming. Oh, perfect. So you got a good afternoon coming. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like I get to hang out. Okay, let's hear the story. We're just, I mean, our, our whole game plan this weekend was we, we're just going to sit on the bridge. We knew it's a high potential area. There's always fish moving up and down it. And yesterday uh, I caught a, a real nice one and, and that just kind of like solidified our plan. Like we're, we're not going to move. And we had gone a couple hours without getting a bite. And then I just made a cast by one of those pilings and it just came up and drilled a chatterbait with a Berkeley power swimmer on the back. And the rest was history. A benchmark has now been set for the rest of the field. If someone else is going to come in during session three and take the win, they'll have to bring in a bass weighing five and a half pounds or better. Stay tuned for the conclusion of weigh-in after this short break. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, 
And to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Tying a good knot is one of the most important things in determining your success on the water. It can be difficult to learn the best knots from a video of someone tying a knot. Sunline created detailed animations to help any angler learn that knot quickly. Each video goes through the top knots, step by step, allowing you to easily follow along. You can quickly learn the top knots for nylon, fluorocarbon, braid, and connecting leaders. See all these knot animations at sunlineamerica.com. something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen, by fishermen, for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition, AFCO has you covered. Hey, three key rods that played a great deal in my success this year on the Bass Pro Tour Trail was the seven foot four multi-spin spinning rod in our lithium series. Another rod that I used a lot this year was our seven foot two Covart heavy action rod. Last but not least is our lithium 884 in heavy action. So check them out, Denali rods. I think you'll be happy with the success you receive from them. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube but I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of baits. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Abu Garcia for life. And by G Juice Live Well Treatment and Fish Care Formula. Welcome back to final day coverage of the 2020 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. The final session of the weekend, session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops, is nearing its end. And anglers are looking to best that five and a half pound mark to take the session lead and win over $1,000 in products and gift cards from Bass Pro Shops and Abu Garcia. Next up, Dalton Kelly, Murray State. Go get you in the money. Yeah. I like that smile, that's a way to go. What time of the day did you catch this one? Uh, right after I weighed in that first one in the first session. How about a 553? 553, yes sir. Go get some water on that one. New leader, get right there at that mic. Brand new leader, y'all put your hands together for him. Awesome job. All right, so tell me the story. Put some water back on that one. We're gonna hear the story here. So, went back out to the same spot. I caught the first fish and my buddy actually missed it and I was reeling it in trying to get back on top of it and it ran over like the 10 foot or whatever and eight miners are trying to get back to the boat and throw back up there. You were leading this whole event. Do you, if this holds up, you know what you're gonna win? Uh, a lot of stuff. All right, just, just the starters, you're gonna win a thousand dollars worth of Bass Pro gift cards, new spinning reel, a new rod, and then a whole bunch of other stuff for winning the overall if it holds up. Yeah, I seen that. All right, so you're ready. I'll tell you what, get that ticket, get you some pictures, mate, get you a hamburger right here at the end of the tent, and just be calm for a little while. Dalton Kelly from number one ranked Murray State University jumps into the session three lead, as well as the overall big bass of the event with that largemouth weighing 5.53 pounds. 
And when the clock strikes 1.30 p.m., session three comes to a conclusion, and Dalton gets the win for that hour. He manages to edge out Griffin Fernandez from Adrian College by just five one hundredths of an ounce. Uh, you know, I caught two fish today. The first fish didn't get me nothing in the first session, but I went back out and ended up uh, running into a five and a half pounder that gave me the win for the whole tournament. Uh, so, I mean, you can't really complain. I only caught two fish, but I mean, I caught the right fish. Uh, as far as my day goes, I mean, it's just, it was a grind all day. We knew that we weren't going to get too many bites, and we just kept ourselves by the bridge all day long, knowing that the right one could pull up at any second. And luckily, we were able to find one of those big bites, and you know, it was awesome to have. It, it was a huge confidence booster for us throughout the day, being so tough. And uh, wish it could have worked out, but that's all right. I had a great time, and I think this is a great event, and I uh, really enjoyed myself with my two buddies in the boat this weekend. Day two, session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops, produces the largest two fish of the event. Less than a pound separates first from 10th overall at the 2020 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley. When it's all said and done, that Kentucky Lake giant nets Dalton over $6,000 in prizes and contingencies, including the Ranger Cup, Garmin Tournament Rewards, Bass Pro Shops gift cards, and much more. Uh, so we started out this morning throwing cane walkers and uh, chopos, and after we caught, I think we caught two short fish real quick this morning, my partner did, and we decided we're, we're just gonna stay out here in top water all day, and that's what we've done. We end up catching two keepers doing it. Both of them come off the chopo. This is crazy, the amount of stuff we're getting. Uh, I just talked to the guy, we went and looked at the Garmin's on the boat. We're getting contingencies, gift cards, uh, I got like $2,000 worth of Bass Pro gift cards and like another $1,500 from a power pole. I mean, it's crazy the stuff they're giving out for a college tournament, especially one that's free. Murray State entered this event with just a 150 point lead over second place in the race for Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Following the conclusion of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley, Murray now leads the closest contender by nearly 500 points. Uh, you know, it's big. We're leading school of the year right now. Uh, we've been on a pretty good roll here the month of September, so I mean, that's good that we got, got you know, first place finish, and I think we had another guy that had a four pounder, so I mean, that's gonna give us good school of the year going on. We're gonna keep our, keep our feet down, just keep on trucking. Of the 1,995 maximum points available for a team to earn this week, Murray State earned a total of 1,890, making the most of their double points opportunity. Thanks for watching our coverage of the 2020 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. This has been a Careco TV production. The lightest rod ever built. All new nano carbon technology. 25% more casting distance. Digitally controlled braking. Incredible sensitivity. Magnetically sealed components. Micro computer monitor more sensitive. Than tournament ever. Step up your game. The only rod for your new That guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore, he's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite, he's got secret lures. What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, yeah, good one. If you're ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com.
such a part of me. They don't fly so high. There's this much to see. You make me come alive. I never felt so free.